With so much uncertainty hovering over Dhaka, the annual union picnic at Old Coney had fewer Latino families this time. One tent was considerably emptier than it would normally be on this Labor Day. Another union had a few DACA protected members around, but they laid low. Because at this point they are being made a target, so to speak. Some unions have helped the undocumented learn the correct chords to citizenship, the forums, the fees. But for various reasons, many continue to live in the shadows. It was a part of today's conversation among local political candidates, office holders, labor leaders, average workers, and their families. DACA cuts deep with a lot of unions. The one for service employees figures three out of every 10 of its Latino members in Cincinnati would be vulnerable to deportation if not for DACA. They don't know nothing else but the United States. Uh, their kids came when they were small. This past weekend, Omar Jimenez spoke with several undocumented relatives of DACA-protected workers, telling us they're reluctant to even go out the door. They fear every day is a struggle. They go to home and they go to work. Home and work. On the weekends, they don't do nothing but stay at home. Um, if they do go out, they go out in that fear. Most of the Latinos represented by the Food and Commercial Workers Union are in the packing and processing industries around here. Many emigrated to this country illegally with their children to try to build a better life. Their main question is, why did I even come if this is what's happening? This land was made for you and me. The old Woody Guthrie folk song hung with extra weight in the September air this Labor Day as the DACA decision neared. At Coney Island, John London, WWT News 5.